Hello and welcome to NDTV. I'm Rohit Khilnani. This is a special show. We come to you from the red carpet of the International Emmy Awards being held in New York. I've spoken to both the Indian nominees, that's Veer Das and Nawazuddin Siddiqui. We'll get you my interviews later in the show. We'll start with some red carpet action. Take a look. I'm uh, extremely excited as a fanboy to be here with Nawaz Bhai. Right. Uh, I've taken many selfies. India's most serious man, India's least serious man. Uh, all in a frame together. मुझे खुशी इस बात की कि जो मैं चुनाव कर रहा हूँ जिन फिल्मों को जिन फिल्मों को चुन चुन रहा हूँ वो एटलीस्ट यहाँ तक तो आ रही है वो आज नहीं तो कल हो जाएगा वो थोड़ा बहुत कि अगर बात है तो परसों हो जाएगा या दस साल के बाद होगा होगा लेकिन अच्छी बात ये कि आ रही है फिल्म वेल नाउ टाइम टू गेट यू माई इंटरव्यू विथ वीर दास इज द इंडियन नॉमिनी एट द इंटरनेशनल एम ईज He got into some trouble after his last show in Washington DC. He spoke about it and he also spoke about his nomination. Let's find out how excited he is about this big nomination. Take a look. Good to see you in New York. Uh, it's good to be here for the Emmys. Big yeah. congratulations for the uh, for the International Emmy nomination. Thank you. Very well deserved and you continue to make us proud. Thank you. Thank you. We, if I scan through social media mm -hmm. uh, in India, you seem to be the most wanted person. Uh, for jokes, uh, I, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't know uh, if that's true or if that's not. Right. You know. Uh, you know, you got a lot of feedback for your uh, for the, for the show that you did at the Kennedy Center. Yes. It's an epic place uh, where you where you gave a momentous. performance and mm -hmm. a lot of people uh, what's the kind of feedback that you have received so far it's uh, as an artist you receive all kinds of feedback mm -hmm. uh, but this has been millions of people from the country and everywhere just a humbling amount of love right so that is uh, an amazing thing that i didn't expect right and along with love comes hate as yeah. well uh, there's been a lot of that uh, did do you, now that you see both the sides mm -hmm. uh, is there anything different you would have done uh, about the performance yes about the things you said i think laughter is a celebration hmm. and when laughter and applause fill up a room that's a moment of pride hmm. and i think that any indian who has a sense of humor Right. Or understands satire, or watches my entire right. video. Right. Knows that that's what happened in that room. Right. You you were very you know you said uh, watch it in totality and don't watch excerpts and that's that's something that so were you expecting you know because if you say these things if you mm -hmm. say uh, lines like you know uh, if you mention uh, we run over farmers and mm -hmm. if you mention we gang rape women in India you you would along be, with the good along side with the it. along with the good side and yeah. the bad side yeah. and you balanced it through the sh through the show. Yeah. Do you must be expecting some kind of a reaction. I think a comedian puts out satire, right. um, and if it's the good of the country and the bad of the country right. ending in the good of the country, right? I think that's uh, something that you should want to come together in. Right. So I can't expect what will happen when I put out a piece of content. It's right. uh, It's not in your hands. Yeah, it's not in my hands. Right, you know, but the minute it becomes, you know, there's a complaint file. You know, there's a some uh, home minister in Madhya Pradesh said you won't be allowed to perform in Madhya Pradesh. Mm -hmm. uh, what what do you what do you have to say to them? I, I'll have to cross those bridges mm -hmm. um, when it comes when we come to those. You know, um, humbly. Right. So uh, if so, for the next performance when you go in, all eyes are going to be on you. Will you do? Will will you this time because of the kind of feedback there is? Are you going to be slightly more careful, or or you will it? Will this change you? This episode. I've made my country laugh for ten years now. Yeah, you have. I've devoted my life to writing about my country. Right. We're here at the Emmys because I wrote a love letter to my country. Right. As long as I'm able to do comedy, I will keep writing love letters to my country. Right, great. Uh, you know, so on that note, we also want to ask you about Emmys. Mm -hmm. um, 
on one side there you know there's a complete different reaction you and i are sitting in new york yeah. uh, you are you are, you know th this also makes india very proud that you if you you know to get to the nomination firstly yeah. and if you win that's even better um do you, how, how do you see this contrast on one one side people are saying one thing here people are you know people will be on the red carpet taking your autographs and pictures i don't think so much about any of that i i never i've never expected to be nominated for anything in my entire life i don't right. expect to get dinner this evening like that's just who i am uh, i'm uh, you know I, i write jokes in the morning and then i tell them in the evening right. and if i'm that's it i, I don't right. think about these large things right we what is the way forward for comedians like you know if you 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 facing this um, maybe there's a young stand up comic who's watching this interview what is the way forward like this you have to take one show at a time and life one day at a time how does one go move forward and write jokes because this will keep going on i don't know i think i, I just don't know you know uh, write jokes and hope to hell that people watch all of them uh, right. it, the full thing right. uh, in its actual context right you know when when uh, when you tie up with netflix for mm -hmm. a show um i like this time you put your content on youtube yeah. and last time you tied up with netflix mm -hmm. how does this work for you because on youtube you can i mean i feel you, you please correct me uh you can put out your own content and but there will be is there some you know uh, censorship when it comes to platforms i'm not aware of any censorship uh, across any of them okay you you've know. never been told to tone down the joke no these are jokes people enjoy jokes they love jokes people love to laugh Right. Um so when 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 the show dropped on Netflix I remember interviewing mm -hmm. that time you came yeah. to our studio as well. Um was this uh, you know uh, is there is there a big difference when you're doing it for a live audience and when you're doing a recording for Netflix? How is how is it? No, done? you're essentially filming a live show. Um okay. so you you're doing exactly what you would do at a normal show. There's just 12 cameras on you at okay. the time. Okay. So yeah. It's okay. the same thing. Is this uh, is this how you you're, you're going to keep a mix of both you're going to keep where can we watch your content you're going to keep you're going to continue working with platforms like Netflix yeah, and sure. doing your own thing I think so you know I'm going to tour now I'm going to you know I did a fair amount of acting so that stuff will come out I'll do some more acting soon so you know it's a mix of different things yeah. Right. Uh you know you've made uh, you've made jokes of your own films, <laughs> you know. I make fun of myself more than I make fun of anything else. And why is that? Because that's how you endear yourself to the audience. You know, I will make fun of myself to make you feel better about yourself. And you th that that makes people feel better? I yeah. think so. I, th yeah. I think uh, uh if you look at this special we does for India, yeah. It is uh and I will never uh, talk about what mm. it is, but mm. it comes from a place of humility. I think, right? Um, and I think that will always be good, right? You know, when you did Veer Das for India, mm -hmm. um, you know, this platform reaches 190 countries. Yeah. What's the kind of feedback? Is it different when NRI is right to you, and is it different locally? Like, what the kind of feedback did you get? I I think the my feedback is very simple. You either laugh or you don't laugh. If you laugh, you keep watching. Right. If you don't laugh, you watch something else. Right. That's it. That's and all the feedback a comedian looks for. Right. We uh, how how big is your you know um you are performing you you're doing so many performances you're doing shows you're doing movies how big is this content team that you know because writing jokes and making people laugh is not tough all credit to you for mm -hmm. doing that and uh, so that's you as a talent yeah. how big is this team that writes the content works with you so i write the content okay um, you write all your content yeah uh, there's a production house called weird as comedy and we produce this special i okay. co-directed it with somebody called ajay bhuyan hmm. um akash who co-produced it with me so we're just a, a tiny company and we made this emmy nominated netflix special uh, what is you know veer veer das is a you know is a brand by himself uh people buy ticket i, I you, don't know about you're not a brand <laughs> i'm just, i just tell jokes that's okay. it yeah okay uh people buy your ticket when yeah. they see your name on the poster what will an emmy nomination or an emmy trophy add to your profile nothing uh the much like buying my ticket adds nothing to my profile mm. you know when you buy my ticket and like when you buy a ticket to a film mm. and sit down uh, that's their battle one because you bought right. a ticket When you buy a ticket to my show and sit down, my work begins from there. Right. Um so whether I have an Emmy in my hand or whether I don't have an Emmy in my hand, I'll still have to make you laugh. Uh you're still sitting yeah. there for 2 hours expecting to laugh. Right. Uh you know, but you know, some way we all get excited when there's a validation on an international platform like this. Does this not add anything to your like, excitement? I'm 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 honored to be uh, invited to this. I'm right. honored to take selfies with some of the people that are here. <laughs> uh i i consider any opportunity to be a blessing but right. will it affect 
uh, how, comedy, comedy no you just no. got to tell jokes and make people laugh right we this is also on a platform where there are you know many other shows many other com- comedians will come in the future as well from around the globe uh, do you, you do you see this as a as a healthy thing to be on a platform like this or do you think you would like to be in a space where you don't want any competition at all i don't know it's a definitely a healthy thing to be on a on a global okay. platform to have your voice be given a, a much larger voice right. so absolutely it's the healthiest thing right and uh, you know how does one i was i ask actors usually this and since you've done masti zate i mm-hmm. should ask yeah. you yeah. Uh, how does one up your your artistic game do you watch a lot do you sit and write what do you do yeah i do i, I watch a lot of great comedians mm-hmm. um i i try and find newer things to talk about okay i um and then i just experience a lot of the world like i experience a lot i say yes to a lot of things mm-hmm. let's try this let's go there. let's mm-hmm. do that so that more experience goes in you then you're able to talk about it as well. right and also you know um if you do a show in india and if you do a show in the us uh, i i'm you know you must be reading a lot of because you know to know something about donald trump and to know something about uh, someone in no, india no i think you just tell your story and people show up and if they connect with it they laugh i don't think you have to you know uh, okay. cater so you so you do, so a show over here won't be any different from a show that you'll do back in mumbai no okay we you performed at the smallest places in bandra yeah. where, where where we both live and uh, you know at kennedy center uh, was the one thing that i know there's not you for you there was nothing called stage fright mm-hmm. but what's on your mind the minute you put your first foot on the stage and that what's what plays on your mind i think about my parents okay and i think about how lucky i am mm-hmm. and um the nice thing about laughter hmm. is it sounds the same everywhere in the world right you know it doesn't matter where you are right laughter sounds the same so i just think about that sound hmm. and trying to be as authentic as i can to get it right beautiful and it's working we uh, you know i'm reaching the end of the interview what is the one thing that uh, you know people log on to your youtube channel mm-hmm. people w- click when they see your poster on a netflix menu they buy tickets what is the one thing that a vidas fan should always remember about him that he will make you laugh and he'll make you feel better about yourself thank you veer thank you so much now i get you my interview with nawazuddin siddiqui he is a man of few words but a bundle of talent he spoke about his nomination and also about his unique style of working that makes his content so special listening uh sir bahut bahut congratulations aapko it uh, are you making india proud again and again thank you very much right now as bhai um acha lagta hai thode different setting mein uh, interview karna aapke liye to ye bahut common hai travel karna uh bataiye aapki life agar hum dekhe kitna travel hota hai kyunki aap ek time zone se nikalte hain dusre time zone mein kuch shoot karne jaate hain yahan media interviews karte hain How do you keep a track of all this? अब तो खैर मुझे हैबिट हो गई मैं भी कुछ दिन पहले यहाँ लंडन में शूट कर रहा था उससे पहले न्यूयॉर्क में शूट कर रहा था और फेस्टिवल्स के लिए भी यहाँ सेम टाइम शूटिंग ये वो तो बहुत ही एक ऐसा हो गया जैसे बस में बैठे और मैं अपने घर से दिल्ली से घर में चला गया ऐसा ऐसा सा फील होने लगा भी तो खैर बहुत Uh, you know a chief film chuni uh, serious man is a film that you know that got such good reviews it did well har ek ne story ki tareef ki aapki tareef ki ab jab aap sunte hain that you know you nominated for international emmys what is is it exciting still do you get you know what is your reaction when you are told ki you nominated for international emmys of course usse zyada mujhe hota hai ki main jo choice kar raha hu wo kahin na kahin correct hai kabhi kabhi doubt hota tha ki yaar jo main choice kar raha hu wo pata nahi box office pe kya hoga usko but maine ye sari cheeze chhod ke maine apne apne jo mera dimag hai jo dil hai uske hisab se sochna shuru kiya aur finally mujhe realize hua ki jo main choice kar raha hu wo correct hai wo kisi bhi mayne mein mujhe let down nahi kar rahi jo meri choices hai kya re yaar maine ye film kyun kar dali ye wo तो जब ऐसी जगह पे नॉमिनेशन होता है और या फेस्टिवल्स में जाती हूँ उन फिल्मों पे मुझे प्राउड होता है कि मैं एक ही लाइफ मिली है और मैं बाकी लोगों से कुछ अलग करने की मेरी ख्वाहिश है और वो रहेगी इन वन फिल्म ऑफ लेयर्स बींगर वॉज वन यू नो योर ओन स्ट्रगल 
how did you how does one pull this off with your directors you know sudhir ji ki help of course must be a great thing but how does one pull this off up you live this character even when you go home uh jo situations isme thi wo un situation ko kahin na kahin main relate karta tha uh, apne aap se kyunki maine wo time dekha hai uh, apne jab main apne gaon mein tha jaisa ki kyunki koi... like for example jaise meri jo uh, meri jo dadi thi ji वो थोड़ी छोटी कास्ट से थी okay. लेकिन जो शादी हुई थी उसकी बड़ी कास्ट में हुई थी hmm. तो हमेशा मेरे फादर को वो हमेशा झेलना पड़ा यू hmm. नो you know, कि वो मरते दम तक उनको उस चीज हमेशा खाती थी कि hmm. कि मैं मैं मेरी जो मदर है वो छोटी जात से है हाँ. तो और वो चीज़ हमें भी झेलनी पड़ी जब भी गाँव में किसी बच्चे अच्छे से लड़ाई झगड़ा कुछ हो जाता तो वो ताना वही मिलता था हमें hmm. यू you नो know, आप इतना कुछ अचीव कर लिया लाइफ में आप यहाँ पे हम बैठे हैं इंटरनेशनल एमीज होने वाले हैं वहाँ जाने वाले हैं दस नवाजुद्दीन सिद्दीकी स्टिल हैव टू डील विद कास्ट सिस्टम मैं क्या मतलब बहुत लोग हैं जो मेरे ख्याल से करते होंगे अभी भी hmm. मुझे जहाँ तक मेरा ख्याल है hmm. कि जब आप गांव जाते हैं डू यू सी एनी डिफरेंस बिकॉज योर सक्सेस इज यू नो सबको पता होगा सक्सेस जी सक्सेस उनके लिए कोई मायने रखते है अगर दिमाग में एक लूप में अटक गया कोई चीज hmm. कि भाई ये वो है hmm. तो वो चाहे आप प्रेजिडेंट भी बन जाए hmm. अमेरिका के तो भी उनके दिमाग में तो वही रहेगा भाई बिफोर वी रैप आने वाले दिनों में यू नो क्या देखने मिलेगा आपने इस लॉकडाउन में क्या किया कुछ दैट वी कैन सी मैंने कुछ फिल्में की हैं और उसमें कुछ कमर्शियल फिल्म भी हैं कुछ लव स्टोरी आजकल मैं ज़्यादा लव स्टोरी पर फोकस कर रहा हूँ और वो आ रही है मेरे पास अच्छा इंटेंस कैरेक्टर से ज़्यादा अभी मैं इन पर फोकस कर रहा हूँ प्यार मोहब्बत वाली फिल्में जो मैंने रियल लाइफ में मुझे नहीं मिला तो मैं फिल्मों में ही <laughs> करके खुश हो जाता हूँ ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन वी विल सी द लव बॉय नवाज अरे वाह अमेजिंग नवाज भाई आपको आई थिंक रियल लाइफ में भी करने मिला और बहुत ही सक्सेसफुली रियल लाइफ में भी करोगे आप यू हैव ऑलवेज एंटरटेन अस थैंक यू सो मच सो नाइस थैंक यू Well that's all we have on this special broadcast on Indy TV hope you enjoyed watching the show as much as we enjoyed putting it together from New York signing off from New York this is Rohit Khilani for Indy TV